Old. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Schelke against Barcelona. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium, and I've been hit by it too. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? The no-nonsense Benedict Hervides. A centre back by trade, but he's shown the versatility to look comfortable at fullback too. An organiser and, and fully paid up member of the uh, the commitment club. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Daniel Alves looking to get on the end of this. And he's there to hoof it away. Luis Suarez. Unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. And it's Dani Alves. Luis Suarez. Tries to get it forward quickly. Looks like a good ball through. Belanda. Back in once more. And that should be the keepers. Piquet. The fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. Iniesta. Has gone out. Matic. Neustetter. Iniesta. Messi. That intervention was very necessary. Oh, good interception. Iniesta. And it's Neymar. Looks to slip it through. Messi, and the finish, it's come loose. Neustetter. And that'll be the final action of the first half. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still, nil-nil. Barcelona can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Sané pumps it upfield. Mascherano. Rakitic. Messi. Long and high towards the flank. It's a throw in. Rakitic, Rakitic, loose ball, who's going to get that? Iniesta, lobs it in gently, it's gone for a throw in. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Uchida hoofs it forward. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Neymar, Neymar, one of a type, he's brilliant. And late in the day, a telling moment. Oh, 
high quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, when the going gets tough, etc., um, they can still turn this round, I think. Sergio Busquets. Rakitic. So, they got the only goal to make it 1-0. Iniesta. Mascherano. Iniesta, Neymar with the ball through, Jordi Alba passes it through, Luis Suarez with the cross. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that, he needed to deliver a better ball. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Uchida tried to play it through. The idea was good though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. And it's Messi. Messi tries a long pass towards the front. Luis Suarez crosses in a low one. No mistake! And surely that clinches it! There really is no way back now! With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement and when all of that is synchronized with the right pass that's what happens he's made it two and no doubt he's hungry for more Schalke have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes and there goes the final whistle so they bask in their win a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, we know.